The Big Bang is a concept that has shaped our understanding of the universe, laying the groundwork for modern cosmology. Based on Einstein's theory and the accepted standard of cosmology, the Big Bang was the moment when the cosmos began its expansion, marking the genesis of all matter, energy, and space. This occurrence took place approximately 13.8 billion years ago and brought about the vast universe that we can see today. But recent advances in cosmology suggest that the Big Bang might not be the absolute origin. Instead, there may have been a period prior to the Big Bang that was equally important in forming the universe as we know it. This earlier period, known as cosmic inflation, is one of the most captivating features of present-day cosmology. It proposes that before the hot and dense state of the Big Bang, the universe underwent a remarkable, rapid, exponential growth. During this time, the size of the universe increased at an astonishing pace. To demonstrate how extreme this expansion was, if the universe began with less mass than an atom, it would have grown to be much larger than the entire observable universe within a fraction of a second about a million, 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 millionth of a second. This stage of growth was brief, but it played a crucial role in shaping the universe. When inflation concluded, the energy-driving space was transferred into this expansion, forming particles and heating up the matter that makes up everything we see in the universe. In many ways, inflation is the precursor to our current state. Call it the Big Bang. However. While the theory of inflation is generally acknowledged in cosmology, it still leaves many unanswered questions. For example, we don't yet understand what triggered inflation in the first place, what caused it to stop, or how long it lasted. These are open questions in cosmology. To gain a deeper understanding of the universe's origins, we must consider that the universe existed even before inflation, as an extraordinarily dense, tiny point of matter often called a singularity. From this singularity, expansion began and ultimately resulted in the formation of atoms, molecules, stars, and galaxies. The idea of the beginning with the Big Bang is modern and appealing, but cosmology points to something more intricate. Imagine this. There are hypotheses suggesting that the universe went through a time before the Big Bang. During this time, inflation caused the universe to expand exponentially, doubling in size repeatedly. About 80% of this rapid growth was fueled by an unidentified form of energy that permeated empty space. When inflation ended, the energy that had motivated this expansion transformed into particles, heating the universe and resulting in the hot, dense state we refer to as the Big Bang. This inflationary stage was icy and empty but it laid the foundation for the creation of matter and the universe we observe today. One of the more speculative ideas in modern cosmology is the theory of eternal inflation. This hypothesis suggests that inflation didn't stop everywhere at the same time. Instead, it ceased in different regions, creating many separate zones or bubbles, each of which could be a universe in its own right. Our universe would just be one of these patches, According to eternal inflation, there could be an infinite number of these universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. This is where the concept of the multiverse emerges. The idea that our universe may be just one among many, or even an infinite number of universes. If this theory is true, it may help explain why our universe is so finely tuned for life. In such a multiverse scenario, the possibility arises that physical laws could vary between universes. We happen to live in one where conditions are just right for stars to form and for elements like carbon, oxygen, and others necessary for life to emerge. Although theories like eternal inflation and the multiverse remain speculative, the idea of inflation itself is supported by empirical evidence. The strongest indication comes from the cosmic microwave background, CMB radiation, the earliest known light in the universe. The CMB was released about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe had cooled enough for atoms to form. At that point, the universe became transparent, and this light has been traveling through space ever since. 
By studying the CMB, cosmologists can essentially take a baby picture of the universe. This light provides crucial information about the earliest moments after the Big Bang and supports the inflationary theory. One of the most important findings came from the European Space Agency's Planck satellite, which captured detailed images of the CMB. These images show slight variations in the temperature of the early universe, variations that match the predictions made by inflationary theory. This experimental evidence strengthens the idea that inflation is not just a speculative theory, but a key element in our understanding of the universe's origins. Understanding the Big Bang and what came before it requires combining two of the most significant theories in modern physics, Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics. General relativity explains the large-scale structure of the universe, such as the behavior of galaxies, stars, and planets. Quantum theory, on the other hand, explains the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. To answer the ultimate, questions in cosmology, such as what space and time are and where the universe came from, scientists must develop a theory that unifies these two frameworks. This would allow us to understand not only the Big Bang, but also the conditions that led to it. One of the more surprising characteristics of the universe is its size. The objects we can see farthest away are about 47 billion light years distant, meaning the observable universe is roughly 94 billion light years across. This may seem odd, considering that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. How can the observable universe be larger than the distance light could have traveled in that time? The reason is that the universe has been expanding throughout its history. As the universe grows, the distances between objects increase, making far-off objects farther away than the time light would have taken to reach us. Most scientists believe that the universe extends far beyond what we can observe. In fact, it's possible that the entire universe is infinite. The observable universe is simply the part we can detect, limited by how far light has been able to travel since the Big Bang. It's possible that vast portions of the universe exist that we will never be able to see. While it's plausible that the universe is infinite, the question remains, is there anything beyond the universe? Most scientists are skeptical of this notion. If the universe is infinite, there is no beyond, it simply continues forever. Even if the universe is finite, it may not make sense to discuss anything beyond it. Space and time are properties of the universe itself, and the concept of beyond the universe may not have any physical meaning. Just as the beginning of the universe is a topic of intense study, so too is its eventual end. The best current estimates suggest that the universe will continue to expand forever. This is due to a mysterious force called dark energy, which is causing the universe's growth to accelerate. Prior to the discovery of dark energy, scientists believed that the universe's expansion would eventually slow down due to the gravitational pull of matter. There was even the possibility that the universe could stop expanding and start collapsing leading to a big crunch. However, dark energy appears to be pushing the universe apart more and more quickly. If this rate of acceleration continues, the universe will keep expanding forever, eventually reaching a state where galaxies become isolated from one another because they are so far apart. In this scenario, the universe would become cold, empty, and dark. Stars would die out. Galaxies would drift apart, and all matter would eventually decay. This is sometimes called the Big Freeze, or heat death of the universe. Narratives in Science While we have gained substantial insights into the inflation theory and cosmic microwave background investigations, many questions remain unanswered. What triggered inflation? What stopped it, and why did it stop? What lies? Beyond the observable universe? If there is a multiverse, how many other universes are there? As scientists continue to explore the cosmos with theories and advanced technology that combine general relativity and quantum mechanics, 
we will undoubtedly learn more about these enigmas. The search to understand the universe is ongoing, and each new finding brings us closer to a response to the ultimate question of our existence. Looking into the beginnings and structure of the universe is not only a scientific endeavor, but it also raises philosophical questions about existence, reality, and our position in the cosmos as a whole. One important area of cosmology is understanding dark matter, which is thought to account for roughly 27% of the universe's mass energy content. Unlike normal matter, dark matter neither emits, reflects, nor absorbs light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects on visible matter. Gaining knowledge of dark matter is essential for describing the formation and dynamics of galaxies. Recent experiments and observations have revealed more about the properties of dark matter, but its exact nature remains unknown. Candidates have been proposed, including weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, and axions, but there is still no direct evidence. Dark matter particles have not yet been discovered. Through a combination of ground-based experiments, astronomical observations, and simulated models of how dark matter affects the large-scale structure of the universe, the search continues. Another crucial area of research is dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Dark energy makes up about 68% of the universe's total mass energy content. Its discovery was unexpected and has resulted in numerous theories, including the cosmological constant and dynamic fields. A deeper comprehension of dark energy is important because it will determine the universe's ultimate fate. Scientists are studying the effects of dark energy on cosmic structures and trying to understand whether it remains constant through time or evolves alongside dark matter. The study of cosmic structure formation also offers useful insights into the history of the universe. Observations of the vast cosmic web, a network of galaxies, clusters, and filaments, have shown how matter clumped together under gravity's influence, leading to the complex structures we see today. Supercomputer simulations help scientists understand how these structures developed over billions of years and continue to evolve. Astrobiology intersects with cosmology, too, as researchers aim to understand the conditions that support life beyond Earth. The search for exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has accelerated in recent years with thousands discovered. Some of these exoplanets are within their stars' habitable zones, where liquid water could survive. By studying these distant worlds, Researchers hope to learn more about the potential for life elsewhere in the universe and what it might look like. Additionally, the role of fundamental physics in cosmology is essential. The search for a unified theory that combines general relativity and quantum mechanics continues to challenge physicists. Theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity aim to merge these two domains, offering potential explanations for phenomena like black holes and the early universe. As technology advances, our ability to observe and interpret cosmic phenomena improves. Space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are revolutionizing our understanding of the universe by providing unprecedented detail of distant galaxies and cosmic events. With each new observation, we are gradually putting together the pieces of the puzzle of the universe's creation, evolution, and ultimate fate. The study of the universe is a rich blend of scientific exploration and philosophical inquiry. From examining the fundamental forces that shape cosmic structures to the search for extraterrestrial life, our quest for knowledge reflects humanity's deep curiosity about the cosmos. As we work to answer these profound questions, we not only acquire fresh perspectives but also develop a deeper appreciation for the vastness and complexity of the universe. The relationship between observation and theory in cosmology relies heavily on technological advancements. Tools like advanced detectors and machine learning algorithms are improving our ability to analyze astronomical data. These tools allow researchers to sort through massive amounts of information, 
identifying patterns that could reveal new insights into cosmic phenomena. One important area of research is gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by catastrophic events like colliding black holes or neutron stars. The detection of these waves has opened a new avenue for observing the universe. By studying gravitational waves, scientists can gain perspectives on the nature of these extreme events and test theories of gravity in ways traditional methods cannot. The concept of cosmic time is also intriguing. In contrast to our everyday, perception of time as linear and uniform, cosmic time is shaped by the expansion of the universe. This raises questions about the nature of time. Is it an absolute concept, or does it depend on the observer's position and motion? These philosophical questions run parallel to scientific exploration, highlighting the multifaceted nature of cosmological research. The formation of the first galaxies and stars, known as the cosmic dawn, is another critical area of focus. Understanding. This epoch helps explain how the universe transitioned from a hot, dense state to the complex structures we observe today. Observations of galaxies with high redshift offer clues about the processes that occurred during this pivotal time, supporting scientists in constructing a timeline of cosmic evolution.